Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's time for another shout my stash. Um, look, these are kind of difficult for me, you guys, because even just the thought of having to pick specific makeup that I can only use during a certain time frame is stressful for me. Okay, so you guys are just gonna have to let me live. If I want to pick three primers and five blushes and six bronzers, then y'all just gonna have to let me do it, okay? Because <laughs> You know, this onesie twosie stuff that don't work for me. I'm gonna try and keep it to a minimum though. But yeah, these are hard, but I'm excited though because I get to pick out some new stuff. So I am going to jump right in. Um, as you can see, I just have the camera over here where the majority of my makeup is. This is basically where I go for my um complexion items. You know, I have some skincare and some uh setting sprays and stuff over there but i ain't worried about that right now so i'm just gonna jump right in i'm gonna go in the order that i actually do my face when i sit down to do my makeup am i gonna pick a moisturizer and a primer definitely a primer moisturizer i do have a new moisturizer that i want to try i think what i'll do is i'll pick my moisturizer when i pick my foundation later so i'm gonna start off by picking a primer and I have this little tray set up here so that hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at as I make my choices to the best of my ability okay primer is gonna be kind of easy this week because I got this sample of the new Tatcha liquid silk canvas primer oh my gosh I am so glad that sephora was offering these samples last week i think it was like for a 25 dollars purchase or something you can get a sample of the new liquid tatcha and y'all know i was right on it so <laughs> i want to try this out because you guys know the original was like 52 bucks or the full size is like 52 bucks and i want to try this out so this is definitely going to be one of my primers for this week um I did just pick this Milk Hydro Grip Primer up. I got the uh, smaller size, which I think was like 15 bucks. I've only used it once. Really, really like it. I really do kind of want to do a half and half face thing with the e.l.f. Uh, Jelly Pop Dew Primer, comparing it to this Milk, just for my own reference to see how close they are. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll do a comparison. But I really do want to, but for sure, I want to continue to try out this Milk Primer. And y'all, just let me pick one more, okay? Let me pick one more. <laughs> okay, I got this Tarte Base Tape. I don't know if I should try this right now, though, because I believe I heard that this um has like a six-month shelf life or something on it and so i don't know if i want to use this yet and let, you know until i'm ready to use it up so uh dang i might just wait on that i got this new wet and wild primer serum um looks like this it just says hydrating uh primer serum so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try this because i really really like hydrating primers and serum slash primers so i think i want to go ahead and try this as well okay that's it <laughs> i won't pick any more primers for this week okay so this is my little um container of foundations that you guys have probably seen before i've been using the milani uh, screen queen for a little while really really like that foundation i've really been wanting to try my uh wet and wild you know the original photo focus foundation again because i haven't used that in a while also i haven't used my cover girl in a while um oh this is the revolution conceal and hydrate foundation i think i may have only used this once if at all have I? Yeah, I've used it. Um, dang, I'm still curious about this. I don't remember how I feel about it. I didn't use it enough. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this one to um to use this week. Uh, 
haven't used my naked in a while. Mm. Ah, what is this? Oh, Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I used to really, really like this, but the shade is like my winter shade. So maybe I better use this before the sun starts beaming and, and cooking me up, huh? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to choose this one. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. And what uh, shade do I have? DN4. Okay, DN4. So we're going to use those two. So I have like a... Well, they're both drugstore, but Physicians Formula is kind of expensive. Okay, so that's it for the foundation, you guys. I'm only going to pick two. Okay, I need to pick a concealer. So, let's see here. I've kind of been missing my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I used this um, in my last video, and I was really feeling it. So I think I'm going to use this for a while because I've really been going ham with my e.l.f. I've been using the e.l.f., the new Hydrating Camo Concealer a lot, and I think I'm just going to kind of give that a break. So I'm going to pick this Juvia's Place Concealer. You know, one concealer I haven't used in a long time <laughs> is my Revolution. This used to be my ride or die. The Revolution Conceal and Define, when this came out, this was my ride or die. Used it all the time. C13 is my shade. And so I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and see if I still like it. Oh, it's so hard. I want to pick one more. You guys, I want to pick one more. Dang, I want to pick one more. <laughs> uh, okay, no. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm just going <laughs> just to <don't> be too. <laughs> ah, this is hard. Okay, um, powder. I think I already know which loose powder I want to use um, for under my eyes because I haven't really tried it out i don't think i think this maybelline new york one right here i don't remember using this you guys did i use this i mean it's no i haven't used it it's still nice and clean on the inside okay so i think i ordered this off of amazon and i picked what is this medium zero two so this is the maybelline shine free loose powder i'm gonna um play with this and see how I like this to set under my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that coloring in there. It looks nice and light, but it looks like it has a little bit of tint to it. And hmm, for pressed powder, I really don't have that many pressed powders, you guys. You guys know I have my Kiss Professional that I got from the Beauty Supply. I also have my Too Faced multi-use uh, foundation powder that I use like crazy. I also have my L'Oreal True Match powder. Um, I haven't used this that much, I don't think. Uh, which one, KK? I feel like I need more choices. <laughs> I'm a mess, like seriously a mess. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Kiss Professional because... I believe I really like it and feel like it works really nicely, but um, I want to use it for a while. Just only this, just to really see how I feel about it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And this one I have in Toffee Caramel. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's the shade Toffee Caramel. Okay, so this is one of the hardest for me. The blush, bronzer, and highlight. Sometimes it's easier to just pick a palette <laughs> than it is to try and pick individual ones. Um, so let me start in my palette drawer here. Now this I haven't used in a while. This is a Revolution and Patricia Bright face palette. And I have the darkest one, which is Dust Till Dawn, okay? This puppy, very, very nice. Works excellently. Very, very pretty. Is that a word, excellently? Works excellent, whatever. It works really well. <laughs> and, and it's 
easy because all three are right here. So this is this is a strong maybe. Um, oh, I haven't used this Catrice and Iman blush palette since I got it. I think I only used it a couple of times. Very, very pretty. But no, I'm not in the mood for that. This I fell in love with <laughs> for the second I used it. This is the ABH, um, what is it, the Gradient Blush Palette. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Ah, this is a strong maybe. Um, is there anything else in here? Mm, that's a straight up blush palette. Mm, my Colored Rain and Power palette. Oh my gosh, you guys know this is so gorgeous. The blush, the highlight. Oh, so, so pretty. Oh, decisions, decisions. Uh, mm, I think I'm going to give the Patricia Bright a run. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one this week. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to say no to. So, so hard. But let me find something that's a little bit more springy since spring is upon us. Okay. Um, This is my Elf Always Spicy. Excellent blush, but no. This is the new Milani Spiced Rose. Very pretty blush, but no. Another Elf. Uh, oh, this is my Milani Coral Cove. I just bought a new one, you guys, because my other one broke and I had to toss it. But this blush, oh my goodness, for spring, absolutely gorgeous. So this might be a definite yes. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, I have my ombre blushes from NYX as well. Dang, I haven't used these probably since last summer, maybe. Oh my goodness, look at this. Very, very pretty. And they are really nicely pigmented as well. This one is the Insta Flame, which is like the pinky one. And then I also have this one, which is Feel the Heat. Oh my goodness, which is more like the orange ombre shade. Oh, so gorgeous. But this is a very, very specific blush. I only wear orange blush with certain eye looks. Oh, I have this hourglass one that I got. Was it in my BoxyCharm or in my um, Ipsy? I don't remember. But this is what that one looks like. And I remember this one looking a little bit dusty. So I'm not really all that hyped to use this one. So mm, I'm going to put that back. Oh, I also have this Lolita. I don't feel like opening that. But I have this Lolita. No, I don't want to use that. Oh, come on, KK. We're going to be here all day. Okay, this is a Sephora Duo. And this one is Snapdragon. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. So that's a Sephora blush in the shade Snapdragon. Okay, so here, this is what we're going to do. Since I'm looking for some nicer, brighter blushes, I already have the Patricia palette. So I'm going to use my Milani Coral Cove, and I'm going to take the Sephora Snapdragon. <laughs> okay. I need options, okay? Okay, since the Patricia palette has a contour in there, I'm going to look for a bronzer. I know there's a highlight in there, but I'm going to pick one more highlighter as well. So let me choose my bronzer. Oh, I also have this nice like Morphe um, blush palette. Oh, this is bomb. And I don't even know if I've used this yet. Maybe once. Gorgeous. This is the Morphe... Um, why does it just say blush palette? Is Which one is it? Anyways, it's a Morphe blush palette. This is my new Essence Bronzing Powder Palette. And I've used this a few times. Very nice. It looks a little light, but it does show up on me. I have my Minted 
bronzers. I've used these quite a bit. They're very, very nice. There's, They have season one and season two. This one is season one, and this one is season two. As you can see, season two is a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. So I might pull season two. That's a maybe. Um, my Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Palette. I just really learned how to use this <laughs> to my benefit. And I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, do I want to use this? Do I want to use this? I don't think so. Uh, oh, this is another blush palette that I never, ever, ever remember. This is a pure 4-in-1 blush palette. I got this at BeautyCon two years ago. And these blushes are gorgeous, but I kind of shy away from them because they have like a little shimmer in there. You can see the two on the bottom, I think, have shimmer. Honestly, they all look like they have a little bit of shimmer, but the two on the top are not as shimmery as the two on the bottom. But these are gorgeous for spring and summer. So, ooh, dang, I might have to pull this, you guys. I might have to pull it. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad. Okay, and you know what? Um, I'm just going to pull one. I haven't even picked yet, so y'all can't be mad. Hold on. I, I'm going to play with this Park, at Park Avenue Princess palette from Tarte. I got this in a BoxyCharm, I think, a long time ago, and I immediately threw it on the shelf because I was like, uh, who is this supposed to bronze? Who? Who? <laughs> But then as I looked a little bit more closely at this last shade over here, I was like, you know what? That might actually bronze your girl, okay? So instead of just using this for decoration in my room, I'm going to try this last one out. And we're going to see if it's going to bronze me up or if it's just going to leave me looking dusty and ashy, okay? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out because... That's exactly why I put it in my drawer so I could try it out. So, okay, so I'm, that's what I'm going to use for bronzer. Um, and I already, like I said, I already have my contour in my Patricia palette. <laughs> so I picked an extra blush. Don't be mad. And I got my <laughs> bronzer palette. <laughs> I know somebody over there is just laughing at me. Okay, I'm picking one more highlight, you guys, because one highlight in that Patricia palette is not enough for me. I need at least one more. Okay, so we all know that this Kiss Professional Bronzing Highlighter is gorgeous, but I'm not picking that this week. Ooh, you guys, I never use my Ofra highlighter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is a strong maybe. A very strong maybe. What is this? This is a Everglow. Yeah, this is Everglow. So this is a strong maybe. This is the Ciate London one that I got in my, what, BoxyCharm or Bo whatever. One of my prescription. One of my prescription. <laughs> one of my subscription boxes. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Should I try this out, you guys? Mm, that's a strong maybe. Okay. Oh, my Physician's Formula. I bought this one uh, not too long ago. This is the Rose All Day one. Very, very pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. So, so pretty. But yeah, I'm going to pass on that for now. Um, oh. My Master Chrome from Maybelline, have not used this in ages. Look at that, you guys. So, so pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. As you can see, this is one that is well-loved. This is 100 Molten Gold. Hmm. I don't know, that's a maybe. Okay, what else in here? You know, I have these Fenty Highlighter Sticks that... I just had to have when they came out. And then when I got them, it was like, girl, are you going to use them? I really don't use highlighter sticks. And then I got that new highlighter stick or match stick or whatever from Fenty. And mine's is purple. So definitely giving that away. But this is the shade Cinnamon and Rum. Let me go ahead and 
because they're so gorgeous look at that they are so so pretty you know what let me quit playing and use one of these because they just sitting in here looking pretty okay i'm gonna use the gold one which is rum so i'm gonna go ahead and take rum and put that in my little container here cinnamon can go back since she's a little pink i'm not really in the mood for that right now Okay, so I need to pick out of the Ofra or the Ciate London. Dang, they're so pretty. Do I have to pick you guys? Do I? Will y'all be mad if I pull both of them this week? Nah, y'all won't. Y'all love me. I love y'all too. I'm going to pull both of them. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Okay, I'm happy now. Happy, happy. Okay, so I got my highlighter, my blush, my bronzer, my contour, foundation, concealer, powder, whoop, whoop, whoop. What else do we need? Mascara. Okay, so for mascara, I did actually already use this CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. I used it uh, one time in my last video. If you saw it, you saw me use it. But this is the wand. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that really, but this is what the wand looks like. Very thin with the hard plastic, very short teeth on it. And I actually really, really like... Um, how this wand is made uh so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull this since i did open it i want to use it some more um i also want to try one more though which i know it's not good i don't like opening multiple mascaras i already have my la girl volumatic mascara open and i really like this one as well but i'm so so tempted to try out this pretty vulgar mascara that i got in my did i get this in boxy charm or ipsy it's hard for me to remember it'll be easy moving forward because i canceled my ipsy so now all i have is boxy charm but i don't remember which one i just know that i've been dying to try this and see how i like it this is what this wand looks like if you can see that you know it's a much thicker formula and you know a bushier wand so uh, i want to try this yeah what the hey let's go ahead and try this one too so that's enough two mascaras for this week I do need an eyeshadow primer. I don't know why I even bother picking an eyeshadow primer because um, I only have a few to choose from. So, and <laughs> currently this is my absolute favorite. So I really don't want to use anything else to be honest with you. But just in case I do a different type of eye look, I'm going to choose this e.l.f. Stay All Day Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm also going to choose my MAC um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Because sometimes when doing a colorful look, it is nice to start out with a light base. So I'm thinking I'll go ahead and pull this too, just in case. Because this is what that looks like. This is actually one that my girl Lily gave me. Um last summer in vegas so i already have one that's almost halfway done so i must already have that in my drawer so that's enough for eyeshadow primer y'all should i pick a backup bronzer i think i should pick a backup bronzer just in case that park avenue palette does not work for me so in here i have a few um new items that i want to try out <laughs> i have this fenty uh kilowatt in the shade trophy wife this is the one that i got from my boxy charm you know that super super gold shade famous shade that she has that i'm really not that enthused about it's a reason why i didn't buy it so now i got it in my boxy charm <laughs> But um, these Folklore blush duos that I picked up and I just tried this out in a video and I really liked it. So is this the bronzer one? Let me find the bronzer one, you guys. I don't think this is the bronzer one. But these are the duos that are duping 
the um, cover effects duos. You know, they have the same shape. It's already dirty. Same shape, same look, same feel. Okay, yeah, so this one is the bronzer, bronzer one. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. This is the shade 05. And I don't remember how much I paid for these, you guys. Um, maybe like eight bucks or something. So they are way more affordable than the Cover Effects ones. And very pretty. Let me see if I can find my Cover Effects one to kind of compare. Okay, so this is the Cover Effects and this is the Focalore. So as you can see, very, very similar. Same size, same look, same feel. This is the Cover Effects one that I have. This is the only Cover Effects one that I have. This is the Folklore one. <laughs> so you can see how similar they are, um, you know, in design, shape, size, and everything. And the Cover Effects, dang, I don't remember how much it is, but I know it's kind of pricey. Um, the Folklore, like I said, I believe I might have paid like eight bucks for it. Not too much because y'all know I'm cheap. But yeah, so very, very close. And the Folklore, they came out with a lot of different shades. So, oh, this mug is pretty. I should have pulled that for my blush. <laughs> I know y'all like, okay, okay, knock it off. But yeah, they, um, they came out with a lot of different shades. But I'm not going to pull the blush that I got. I'm just going to pull this one as an additional bronzer. Just in case that Park Avenue palette from Tarte does not work okay yeah okay so I'm not gonna pick lips and stuff like that either so let's go ahead and pick a moisturizer and then I will show you guys which palettes that I'm looking at for this week okay guys so let's go ahead and pick out a moisturizer this is gonna be pretty easy because I actually want to use or try out a couple of moisturizers right here from this shelf that I haven't tried this one is from Glow Recipe. This is their Watermelon <laughs> Pink Juice Moisturizer. And I'm pretty sure I got this in a subscription box and have not tried it at all. So I definitely want to try this out. Um, I also want to try out this Watermelon Face Milk from 4th Ray Beauty. This is from ColourPop, part of their skincare line or whatever. And I really wanted to try out a face milk. Not sure what that is, what it means, what it's for, but we're going to try it out. It says two to three drops into the palms, gently press into the skin, use as needed. So I'm assuming it's just for added moisture. So I think I'm just going to choose those two for moisturizers. Okay, you guys, and instead of picking out some new palettes, I already have a few palettes over here in this little palette holder that I've been wanting to use <laughs> for the longest and needing to use. A few of them I just got recently, so I'll put them over here to use. And then some other ones that I didn't actually get to in my last shot, my stash, but I know, you know, it's how be sometime. But this one here, I really, really want to use this. This is from Alter Ego. I have been wanting this goddess palette. <laughs> <laughs> for the longest and so I finally went ahead and picked it up Do you guys see how pretty that is oh my gosh it is so so gorgeous look at those shimmers so I went ahead picked this up so I can play with it and maybe I will use this for my um what is it called St. Patrick's Day look I don't know if there's enough green in there but we'll see also, just in case that one doesn't have enough green for my St. <laughs> Patty's Day look, I chose this Juicy Olive like in my last <laughs> shot mustache and did not use it. So hopefully, can I open this? Hopefully I can get around to this using this one this time around because you guys look at those shadows gorgeous so so pretty i think that would be nice for saint patrick's day as well so it'll be one of those either this one or the goddess palette i'm sure for my saint patrick's day look i also have here this sweet valentine palette from lurella um i picked up this palette right when it dropped never used it 
it's gorgeous. <laughs> it is gorgeous. It came out like right before Valentine's Day and I used the, what is it? The Natasha Denona Love Palette instead. But you guys see this palette? Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And I swatched it a little bit in my video where I was looking for dupes for the new Jaclyn Hill palette. And honey, this palette swatch is so, so pretty. So yeah, I want to use this. I also have in here the Trendy in Tokyo palette. Now, this palette I did pick up. I got it on a pretty good sale at BH Cosmetics. No, at Ulta. Yeah, I ordered this off of Ulta. Just a gorgeous rainbow palette. Part of their travel series. Oh, gorgeous. This, I think I'm actually, using, well, dang, I got to do a St. Patty's Day look. But this I'm going to use very, very soon because <laughs> I am dying to do a rainbow look, you guys. Now, I also picked up this palette from Target. This is the Color Story Bright Blooming Pressed Pigment Palette. You guys, Target is trying to come up with these palettes, okay? And I picked this one up for like $9.99 or something like that. Ugh another beautiful gorgeous rainbow palette and what i was thinking is since they're so similar i was thinking of possibly doing like a comparison video for these two palettes because they are really really similar now the target one does have like brown in it so you know it gives you a little bit more options there but they're both rainbow palettes so definitely thinking about doing some type of a comparison for these two I'm not sure you guys let me know what you think should i compare them or should i just use them <laughs> also i have in here this c color blue sky palette this is the dupe for the jeffree star uh, what is it blue blood palette now my girl Lily, let's see if I can open it. Oh good. My girl Lily did a video comparing this to the uh blue blood palette. Oh my gosh, you want to talk about a serious dupe? Check her video out. I will link it because she did an excellent comparison, bomb look, and it was so bomb it made me buy it. <laughs> even though I already have the blue blood. So yeah, I want to use this as well. I really have been feeling blue eyeshadow lately so i'm trying to put some time and space in between this one though because i did do a blue look recently so yeah this will probably be a little bit later and if you watched my last shot my stash you guys know i had already picked this makeup and your makeup by yolando jam rock palette <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous colorful palette you know i had already picked this but never got around to using it I don't remember if I picked this 39L Hit the Lights palette from Morphe, Morphe or not. I just know it's up here. I'm thinking that I did pick it because it's up here. But anyways, yeah, I want to use this palette as well. It's so, so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors in here. I think I'm kind of thrown because there is a lot of red and brown in here. So with just a few sprinkles of color. So I'm not really sure when i'm gonna get to this one but this palette is pretty as well so anyways you guys those are the palettes that i'm going to be working on for this um week two weeks month however long it takes me to get through them <laughs> you guys this is my shop my stash for the next week or however long i can do it <laughs> so thanks you guys for hanging out and helping me pick these products and i will see you on my next video Bye.